In this video, we will continue presenting the Outline Shapes digitizing tool while using Bezier Tool Operating Mode. We have already presented Context Menu, Drawings and the Genome Digitizer Operating Modes for the Outline Shapes tool. Now let's switch to Bezier Tool to conclude the various operating modes available for the Outline Shapes digitizing tool. For the setting to take effect, you need to restart the software. When the tool is activated, left-click to draw points. Click once on the working area to search the starting node. Now a preview line appears from the starting point and follows the cursor. If you click once again, a line is added starting from the first defined point to the second. A new line begins from the second point. In this way, you can continue adding connecting lines. In case you want to add a curve, then click and drag to set a node and adjust the curvature of the previous segment. You can also hold the Shift key down and the next point that you add will be a curve point. The tool creates straight lines unless you select to add a curved part. While creating outline shapes, you may want some shapes to be embroidered together and others to be separate. For example, if you want this part to be embroidered together with the next one, they should be sections of the same object. Using a single right click, the current section is finalized, while the tool remains active in case you need to start a new section. Now, both sections belong to the same object. When you're ready to end the current object, right-click twice. As you can see, both parts belong to the same object and they have connecting stitches, so they are embroidered together. The outline tool remains active, but if you create any new part, it will be a separate object. You can also use Enter or Escape to finalize sections or objects. Using Enter or Escape keys once, the current section is finalized. If you press one of these keys twice, the whole object is finalized. When an object is finalized and you need to release the tool, you can choose any of the following ways. You can right-click once more, or click on the Rectangle Selection tool or even use Enter or Escape keys once again. Basically, this is the way that you can create shapes with one or more sections. Now let's see some other options of the Outline tool. First of all, we need to mention that if you connect the last point with a first point, then you create a closed shape. As already mentioned, you can easily create curve points if you hold the Shift key down. In other words, the nodes that you add while holding the Shift key down are curve nodes. All round points are curve nodes, while the square sign points are corners. In this way, you can easily combine curved and straight segments. At any point, you can delete the last inserted point just by pressing the backspace key. You can add parts to open sections until the object is finalized. To do so, place the mouse over a starting or ending point and you will see the cursor changing. Now, if you start drawing from that point, the new drawing is added to this section. If you hold the Alt key pressed down, the mouse cursor snaps on the grid for your convenience. Finally, have in mind that you can easily create holes if you create any closed shape section on top of another. 